It's been a year. I've had this snow blower that we're in our second winter. This is a Troy built, 28 cc's. Uh, but uh, this thing starts up first time, the electric starter. You know, you prime it and uh, it starts right up. The first start of the winter season, you have to fiddle a little bit more. But what I'll do then is while I'm actually uh, pressing the start button, I might hit the uh, the little pump that primes the fuel and puts it in the cylinder. Uh, something else I noticed too is it doesn't seem to use much gas at all. You know, I can use it for a long time. Yeah, long for me anyway, you know, do uh amount of work. And I look at the gas and it hasn't gone down that far at all. So uh, I am very happy with my uh, Troy Bill Storm 2410. And uh, only thing, you know, only thing negative I can think of, the little, the little bracket that held the little thing to clean out the snowblower with uh, came unfastened. So I've set that somewhere else. And, uh, but this thing has really been great. Oh, and here's a snowplow coming by. He did my side first, and now he's done the other side. Uh, we're supposed to get seven to 10 inches. Looks like we got maybe four inches now, but have to keep the end clear because that will eventually harden. Snow, it, the snow is light and fluffy now, but as snow gets piled on top of snow, it what they call centers. It, it combines and becomes uh, very icy and much harder to remove. Oh, the other thing I guess I could mention, and this is probably just my old age, but shifting it uh, between reverse and forward uh, is a little difficult. Like I say, I think that's more to do with my my hands and things than the actual performance of the of the machine. But I love it. Uh, otherwise, I can possibly, uh, you know, I'm too old to shovel, and uh, too broke to have someone come and plow it every time. So uh, it works out really, really well. You should learn how to change the shear pins in your uh, machine also. So there are pins in here that uh, keep the blades kind of connected to the power. Well, if you run over something like a dog run that I did one time, it tangles it up in, and rather than ruining the engine, it breaks these shear pins, and then you have to replace them. Uh, they're about they're like two inches maybe and just about any hardware store will have generic ones i mean you still get it there i think they're all the same width but they might be different in how long they are whatever but that's something uh you should learn how to do or be familiar with or have some of those in reserve just in case you have a problem and you have to get going again yourself i mean getting snow blowers repaired in the winter time is, is very difficult because everybody's getting them repaired in the winter. They all, you know, that's when they're being used. That's when the, all the components are being stressed and that's where they break down. And then, you know, you've got to basically take it to a place that does that type of work and they're really backed up just about any time of the winter.